Well, greetings and salutations, test takers. This is the Series 7 Guru coming to you from my studio here in fabulous Las Vegas with an explication request. Uh, you can send any explication request you may have to explication request at guruexamprep.com. Uh, here's today's question request. ABC Corporation has outstanding a seven and three quarters convertible debenture. So debenture is an unsecured bond issued by this corporation that uh, can be converted into the stock. It's currently trading at 102. Uh, the bond is convertible into stock at $40. I can't stress this enough. Anytime you get a convertible question and you get the conversion price, you have to stop. You have to say, bastards, I do not need the conversion price. I need to establish the conversion ratio. The way we do that is we set to par, if it's a convertible bond, 1,000, convertible preferred stock, 100. We divide by the conversion price. Now we're back in business because we have the conversion ratio. You can't answer these questions without the conversion ratio. So what that means is this bond can be converted into 25 shares of ABC's common stock. ABC stock is trading at 45, which of the following statements is true. Now, whether they ask you or not, you should know that these questions all have to do with parity, either parity of the bond or parity of stock. Parity means equal, right? If I, uh, I'm i an NBA fan, I think there's a lot of parity in the teams in the NBA. That just means they're all kind of uh, at the same spot, right? That's what parity means. All right, so we're going to do parity here because that's what we should do to kind of dig into the question. So parity means equal, parity of the bond. If we can turn this into 25 shares of a $45 stock, that bond is worth $1,125 as it relates to the stock. Wow. And it's priced at $1,020. Uh, I've discovered a price discrepancy, right? I mean, this is worth on $1,125 worth of stock, and the bond is priced below parity. Hmm. Usually it would be at a premium. Profiting from a price discrepancy is called arbitrage. That alone could be a test question. Profiting from price discrepancies can best be described as, and you come up with arbitrage. We could also look at that period of the stock here and see again equal. If we buy this bond for 1,020 and it's convertible into 25 shares of the stock, we would be uh, paying the equivalent of 4080 for the stock. And the stock is at 45. Once again, illustrating there's a price discrepancy. I could actually get the stock here for 4080 if I buy the bond and convert and the stock's at 45. Okay, so now uh, let's see what our choices are. It says uh, to profit in this situation, the investor should buy the bonds and short the stock. All right, well, let's just see how that plays out. If I buy the bonds, I'd be out 1,020. And remember that's convertible into 25 shares of the stock. And I short the 25 shares of the stock at 45. And uh, that means, yeah, that would work, right? I'd be profiting from the price discrepancy because what I could do is convert the shares or the bond into 25 shares to cover my short position. So indeed, uh, that works. The answer to the uh, question is A, we buy the bonds, we short the stock. This is called riskless arbitrage because I've locked in this price discrepancy. Uh, let's look at choice B. It looks like A is our proper choice, but let's see what B says. The bond is at parity with the stock. No. You know, the bond is not at parity with the stock. 45, parity is 40, 80. That's not true. To profit in this situation, you should buy the stock. Well, why would you buy the stock at 45 when you can get the bond at, and get the stock at 40, 80? That makes no sense. Uh, an arbitrage opportunity does not exist. No, it, it certainly does. We just proved in the answer A that an arbitrage opportunity does indeed exist. And so the answer to this question is A. Oh. Uh, I like this. You're going to have to calculate parity at least once or twice on your Series 7 exam. So remember, inch by inch, calculating parity is a cinch. Yard by yard, calculating parity is hard. I will link to an entire lecture on convertibles in the video description and a pinned comment. And I will see you for the next explication request.